Big Hamish and from Chaplin, Glasgow. How are you? Thank you, too, Scotty. Thank you, do, sir. Now, you must remember, Scotty, I've not bought that transistor yet, but no? uh, 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 it's coming. Well, it's have, have a look next through. time you're in the supermarket. Say, excuse me, my dear, could you take me to digital radios and yes. just have a look at it and see what you think? Well, I'll certainly be... Wa- Honestly, Scotty, I'll be certainly buying one. Because you'll be able to get Talk 107 day in, day out, 24-7, and it's a cracking radio station. Now, what are we talking about tonight, Scotty? It's right up your patate. Yes, yes, you better believe it. No, I'm not we're, just We're discussing. Yes, yes. No, no, you're fine. You don't I'm you worry. I'm going to buy it. Well, what we're discussing, Hamish, and I mean, you won't like this, but they're talking about closing 22 schools in uh, Edinburgh and the Lothians, Right, right. And uh, what I'm suggesting here, if we can make a leap of faith, right, there are two Catholic schools, Hamish. And in Edinburgh. In Edinburgh. No, no, there are two Catholic schools on the closure list. Right. Right now, they can't close them because it would have to go to the Scottish ministers. So there's a kind of protected species, if you like. Mm-hmm. You know? And uh, also, it would probably have to go in front of the of the powers that be in the Catholic Church. Mm-hmm. Now, what I would like to say is, if we could make a leap of faith and accept two things, one, the infallibility of the Pope, and two, transubstantiation, right? right. And, and it would need to all be discussed. And uh, if that could be done, then perhaps we could hand education to the Roman Catholic Church. Now, that wouldn't be such a bad thing. I'm not talking about turning people into Catholics from Protestants. What I'm saying is just the, the actual quality of education handled by the Catholic Church. Uh, and then no, they no, couldn't, no, no. And then they couldn't close the schools. Can you see where I'm coming from? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're talking about the Roman Catholic schools. No, I'm talking about all schools. No, Scotty, I'm if, not accepting that. Yes, the Queen, you, the if, Queen is a Queen of this country. Oh no, no, no! I'm not talking about anything to do with that. What I'm talking about is is like a contract. See, I said to you, Hamish, I would like you to uh, ensure that everybody in the west of Scotland gets a pint of milk in the morning, mm-hmm. right? And you said, right, I can do that because I've got contacts with farms and lorries and everything, right? Mm-hmm. I say, right, that's great. So that's that sorted. So big Hamish from the drum is in charge of milk for the west of Scotland. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, I want my child educated, you see, mm-hmm. right? Well, okay, uh, in that case, they go to school mm-hmm. and the schools are run by the Roman Catholic Church. No, I don't accept that. No, I don't love and accept it, but Roman yeah, Catholic Church. No, but I think you're missing the point here, Amy. I'm not talking about people becoming Roman Catholics. No, I don't want them in my, my, my school, Scotty. No, no, no. What I'm talking about them running education, you see, because the Catholic Church do an excellent job in education. Aye, for the Catholic people. No, uh, for for everyone. But they've never done anything for it. Well, that's they because we have, they haven't been given the job yet. But, Scotty, I don't want them to get my, but, but, my but, personal, but, but, but I don't want them to get a job. But wh- uh, why not? We have, an, we have a non-denominational school that anybody goes to a school. Yes. Right? But we're no one, we're no one indoctrinating a Roman. No, 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 you're missing the point. I'm not talking about indoctrination here. I'm just accepting that they're run by the Catholic Church. I'm not talking about indoctrination. I'm not talking about turning a child who's a Protestant into a Catholic. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about them running the schools. I'm talking about the quality of education. I'm talking about them teaching English and history and maths and arithmetic and physics and chemistry. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? I'm not talking about... Well, uh, yes, I understand. Yes, I, I fully understand what you're saying now. But with Protestant uh, thing, we would put uh, uh, Protestant. Yeah, uh, but you uh, see, what happens is that the Protestant schools don't have the protected status. Mm-hmm. You see, so what I'm trying to do is avoid closing the schools. The most important thing is that these schools are not closed. Well, well. And if that means uh, well, handing the education to the Roman Catholic uh, Church. You're, you're, spo- you're talking about two Roman Catholic schools, sure. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I can understand them stepping in and doing something there for the Roman Catholic school, Scotty, aye? Yes, you see... So, well, but I don't... But you ask me about but the position. I'd, if I had any kids, whether I've got any kids or no, if I had any kids or I was younger and I had any kids, I wouldn't want any Roman Catholic thing to teach them my way. Now, why not? Because I wouldn't. No, but why not? Like, Scotty, I've already stated to you before I'm an orange one. No, no, don't, don't worry, that. but that's nothing to do. All I'm saying is that, you know, a Roman Catholic teacher is every bit as good as a Protestant teacher. I'm not disputing that, Scotty. I don't dispute that. They have a fine education, but it's to their self. 
to, you, when you're talking about the two Catholic schools shutting, yes, by all means, let them come in. Let, uh, let them deal with that. But in the national school, Scotty, we have everybody in our school. Oh, I know. Everybody. everybody would still be there, Hamish. It wouldn't yes, have changed any that, of that. Scotty. Yes, I fully understand that. I feel like you've asked me my personal opinion, Scotty. You've got yours. Yeah, but, but, but no, no, but I what I'm... I would say no to them. I would but, but I can't understand, I can't understand why you'd say no. Because I don't, I don't want them teaching my thing, man. But why not the teachers? Yes, I understand they're teachers, but they're Roman Catholic teachers. Yeah, but they're not teaching your child Roman Catholicism, they're teaching your child English or history or maths or physics but or chemistry. Don't, uh, that makes that after that, Scotty, but it might just eat in. No, no, it wouldn't. That, 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 would, that wouldn't be the brief. It wouldn't say, you go in here and convert every day to Catholicism. No, I know that. That wouldn't be the brief. It would be that you teach the children. Yes, I know you would teach your children, Scotty. That's fair. There's enough. no, there's no. It's not like your kids going to ho come home and say, "Dad, well, okay, I'm, I'm going to be a I'll, Catholic now." Have you bear with me? When I was brought up in school, when I was brought up in school, as a non-denational school, now we were non-denational. The Catholics called us a Protestant school, and yes. rightly so, we called him a Catholic school because yes. it was Catholic. That's right. Well, now I'm saying Catholic, Catholic just Israel. means universal. So now I'm saying is there wouldn't be any of that because there would only be like one school body, and that would be the Catholic Church. Well, I'm church a scholar. I don't want a Catholic Church running this. But, running but you're not. But they're not running you. They're only teaching no, the children. Doing education. Yes, uh -huh. the Aye. No. I would say no to that. But, but why? Because I wouldn't accept that, Scotty. But, but I can't understand why. Well, I wouldn't accept that, Scotty. Because maybe I'm old-fashioned, Scotty. Maybe I'm old-fashioned. But I believe I'm right, Scotty. I, w I want somebody Presbyterian teaching my kid. I'm just talking about me teaching my kid. Yeah, but you could teach your kid the Presbyterian way. Yes, that's right, you can do that at home. You see, the thing is, a non-denominational non school, Hamish, a non-denominational school wouldn't you teach your kid any Presbyterian thing. They won't even teach, they won't even let them wear a cross. Well, that's right, Scotty. I know, I understand, but I was brought church, up... I mean, the Church of Scotland, they're, they're shutting their doors here, there, and everywhere. You're seeing churches in the paper for sale. That's right. That's it, because people don't go to church. But I haven't, I've never seen the chapel, I've, I've never seen the chapel. Yeah, but I've never, yeah, but I'm saying, you know, it's it's great to be old-fashioned, we don't mind that, but uh, I still can't see where you're coming from. Well, what I'm coming from is a fact, the fact that I was personally brought up in a Presbyterian thing, mate. Sure. Now, right. now nothing right. changes. You, if you had Presbyterian children, they go to school and they learn maths and English and physics and chemistry. Okay. And, you know, there wouldn't be any... If they were Catholics, then they would go to, to mass at the school. But if they're Presbyterian, they would go to assembly. Well, that's a Presbyterian always went to assembly. Yes. Yes, and that's what happened in a denominational school. Keep in mind, I was brought up in school and started the school in the 50s. Right. There were, there were very few coloured people in this... No, I'm not being racist in that. No. There were very few anybody in this country at that time. Well, there was only 520 people right, so from, from Pakistan in the country. That's right. I'm telling... I'm, listen, Scotty. Yes, people, sir. People, people in the Roman Catholic faith who didn't want their children brought up in a strict regime in a Roman Catholic school certainly a non denational school. Yes, well, I'm not talking strict regimes, I'm just talking education here. Yes, I know education, Scotty. I know, but I'll, I'm, this is what I'm trying to explain to you. That I swear, the way I was brought up in school. Sure, sure, yeah, but what I'm asking, everywhere. what I'm asking you to do is to make a leap of faith. No, I'm not going to leap of faith into the Catholic. There's I'm, only two things I just need you to accept the infallibility, no, this, Scotty. The infallibility of the Pope and transubstantiation. I'm not hey, could you accept Scottie. that? The Scot look, the Sc I'll, I'll put it in record now. The Pope is the most modern Pope. I don't deny that. It's more modern. Obviously, it's more uh, modern because the times are changing. But I don't want them teaching anything uh, that I personally have. Right. Okay. Opinion, I'll, I'll, I'll put. I'll, I'll, no, don't so yeah. listen. You and I will never fall out. But no. I'll put it to the nation. But I'm. No. I'm not sure you're seeing my point here, really. Yes, I do see your point. Yes. So, let me get, let me let me tell you your point. What you're saying is bringing Roman Catholics and the and the non-denominational uh, 
No, no, what I'm saying is we hand education to the Catholic Church who do it very well. Mm. That's a different thing. I'm not well, talking about bringing well, anyone in. Like I'm not talking right. about changing anyone's religion. No. Do you no, see what no, I mean? No, I know that, Scotty. It's, it's, that, it's, it's a bit like, as I say, to go back to the milk analogy, if, if you were a lemonade man, right? Yeah. And, and I said, would you deliver the milk for the rest of Scotland? You said, yes, I can. It's because you've got the network and the skills, you wouldn't then start going round people that take a pint of milk mm. and saying, would you take a bottle of lemonade instead, you know? Mm. That's yeah, that's I'll the point. Stand me your comfort, Scotty. Hamish, we'll never fall out. I'll have no, to I'll, I'll have to leave it there. You. God the bless you. To, my answer to it, Scotty, I'm not falling out, and I'm not falling no. out with my good Roman Catholic mates. I don't want that to happen. Right, okay, I shall put this to the nation, Hamish. God bless you, mate.